good evening, good morning, and good day. Um, this particular match is not a, a very exciting one. Um, the SU-85B again. I think I did about ten matches in the SU-85 to prove how poor the matchmaker was for this particular account, or to prove how poor I am in a, in a TD. I'm prepared to accept that I'm no good. Now, as I said, not interesting. The first 15 seconds of the countdown are never interesting. The second 15 seconds are even worse. You can say something interesting here, or you can just waffle like I am. Now, um, let's see what I'm going to do. I did this one a while back. I'm going to go somewhere safe because I fought this map um, just a couple of games before and was destroyed within, I think, 15 seconds, maybe 30. Could be an exaggeration, but we're all going to go for this building. It looks like we're all going to sit in here and just poke out our side and hopefully someone will go into our line of fire. Now, there is something coming. This is the most accurate gun in the world. Nope, it isn't. I forgot. I didn't do anything there, even though the shell looked as though it should have hit. It did something. Well, scared him off. Annoyed him. Told him to go away. I've got a nice big 85mm gun here. That's what it told him. But it didn't do any damage. So I'll destroy this building instead. Because I think I can destroy this building easily with an SU-85. B's 85mm gun, but I'm wrong, it's a wooden shed. The wooden sheds are substantial, they're very strong in world of tanks. So, let's watch the minimap, and then the screen, and see what happens, see what comes. Now, not, my team will not die in droves, and I'll hit everything I shoot at, even fully aimed in. And, oh, yep, I did some damage, not, not still think an 85mm should do more damage than that. After all, my two-pounder in my little cruiser Mark III often makes holes and things all the time, but this 85mm, I was expecting better things of it. I was expecting it to go through the armour of armoured vehicles. Let's try this one. Fully aimed in. Oh, oh yes, no, I did some damage. I'm starting to like the tank. I... Damn it, I did some killing. I, I always feel guilty when I say killing. It is just a virtual tank. I must remind myself of that. But look at my team. I see that the reds, the red lines are appearing. The red lines that appear too regularly and indicate that your team is going to collapse. Oh, I'm not convinced by the matchmaker. I personally, I think it's very rigged. But people like, um, what's his name? Um, Unter. Uber. It's Oberdice. Unterdice. Uh, he thinks otherwise. He hates me. I know it. Uh, Matchmaker hates me too. So I'm going to shoot at this thing. Watch. Yes, I hit the ground. I think I was fully aimed in. I think I was. Um, yep, I don't know where that went. Nowhere. I missed him. TDs. Somebody else got it. I, I'm so sorry, I did swear. Englishmen shouldn't swear. They should be punished when they swear. I, uh, I might have to just bleep that out. I meant the rubbish. Look at my team, it collapsed. I'm shooting through buildings, hoping a high velocity shell will go straight through. So, what have I done? I've done a bit of damage. I did my fair share, I think. But my team collapsed. This is a series of battles where I just watched my team collapse time and time again. So I go for him, but no, there's someone over there. 11%, I can take both of them out, but I am destroyed by artillery. So, that was good then. I don't think I had one in this tank in a series of several games. I was feeling a little bit down in the dumps. So... Having given up, uh, not by choice, but by being forced to give up, I think it's time to move on to the next video. I'm rather depressed.